Thanks for joining us. I'm Nick Gibson. How many people in the Midlands do you think stop when they see this stop sign? I put it to the test and I also rode this bus. The South Carolina baseball team has lost six consecutive SEC tournament games and head baseball coach Mark Kingston is just looking for two things out of his lineup. Not only production, but also leadership from his players. Cecil Tillis Center where many ABC residents are just coming out to get help from the Columbia Housing Authority. As you can see right behind me on this table, there are clothes and also men's coats as well. And after Jimmy Garoppolo went out with a season ending knee injury, the 49ers fortune was not as golden. But with the second overall pick, that will change. Defensive tackle Quentin Williams out of Alabama has a championship pedigree. I spoke with two Chapin residents who said they would have to tell potential homeowners that their child will not be zoned for this district. I actually had an opportunity to have an all access look at Macy and also her ultrasound for her newborn. For nearly two weeks, many Allen Benedict Court residents have been without a home and have been displaced in hotels. After losing 28 to nothing in the Belt Bowl versus Virginia, many of the USC faithful say this is Will Muschamp's last season to prove his point as the head football coach. I've seen something like this in my neighborhood is, is really bad. I, I really don't expect, didn't expect this. Those were the words from Raymond Newton, who lives in Willow Run Apartments. Columbia police say they found two men shot to death inside of Unit 14 on Thursday morning. We had several officers respond to uh, 511 Alcott Drive. This is the Willow Run apartment complex for um, a shooting investigation. Uh, we arrived on scene and officers entered uh, one of the apartment units and discovered two males deceased. Mark Jeffries, who is the uncle of one of the victims, says he was surprised this even happened. I mean, like this right here, yeah, I mean, it'd, be, it'd be some shooting out in the air or something like that, but no killing, really, so they're kind of surprising to us. As the investigation continues, many community members are trying to look past this event. Hope that, the, uh, that this doesn't happen again. And, and I feel sorry for the, their families that got to go through what they have to go through now because of this. From Columbia, Nick Gibson, WIS News 10. Six foot five, 220 pound office of lineman Cam Stewart would have never imagined he would be in this position. The star lineman for the Dutch Fork Silver Foxes thought playing basketball would be a sport, but head coach Tom Knotts thought otherwise. I wasn't even sure he wanted to play. I think he, he thought of himself as a, as a basketball player, but I convinced him with his length and his athleticism that, that he could play uh, not only high school football, but he could play on the next level. With Cam's length and athleticism, it has not only earned him a selection in the Shrine Bowl, but it has also allowed many college programs, including Coastal Carolina, to come knocking at his front door. All the coaches, they're young, they're fired up, they're knew the FBS, so they're ready to get a couple of titles, get a couple of wins and everything. And uh, the players, it's just such a tight-knit group. And um, it's, uh, they're, just ready to, they're just ready to compete, ready to win. And um, just the brotherhood, the camaraderie that I felt when I went there on my visits and stuff, it uh, really drew me into Coastal. Cam brings a winning pedigree to the table. Since he has suited up for the Silver Foxes, he has won two state titles. But this season is special. Dutch Fork has outscored opponents 427 to 63. Cam is looking to finish the season strong with his Thursday title. I'd like to see him be secure with three straight championships. That'd be pretty hard to beat. And you know, just for all the people that supported us, all the people that looked up, looked up to us, looked at us to be great. Um, it would be great to accomplish that for them. Cam Stewart and the Dutch Fork Silver Foxes are expected to play the White Nose Timberwolves tomorrow night at 7 p.m. From Dutch Fork, Nick Gibson, WIS News 10. Hey guys, I'm right out here in front of Gorilla Base Camp. Now last year around this time, Macy actually lost her newborn. Actually, gorilla handlers are looking forward and holding their breath for this moment as she is now pregnant. With just a pop of a clicker and a couple of peanuts, Macy allows her handler to perform an ultrasound. We try to do these ultrasounds once or twice a week so that we can follow the baby's development and follow how it's positioned and hopefully give us a better window of about when she's ready to give birth. Inside Gorilla Base Camp, keepers and vets are cautiously hopeful that this outcome will be different than the last. After last time, Macy lost her infant. Obviously, it was a very um, sad time, I think, for keepers and the troop. Um, out of respect for the troop, uh, we allowed them to have a grieving process, um, and it was all based on the troop, so as much time as they needed. Um, you know, Macy really cared for that baby, um, and she did have the baby for a few days, um, and she took care of it. 
Expectations are high, but keepers say Macy will make the best mom. She's a very loving, nurturing individual. Um, she takes care of the other females in the troop. Um, obviously with Macy's last experience last year, um, she was very nurturing with the baby. Um, so I have full confidence that she'll be a great mom. Right back here live at Riverbank Zoo. Now keepers and also veterinarians say that Macy is expecting to give birth later on this fall. From Riverbank Zoo, Nick Gibson, WIS News 10.